Hello people, how's it going? Scotty. So for the past month or so it has been pretty busy with regards to all my photography stuff. Last year I had done my hire photography and I got my two workbooks that I'd done from last year um, back. So I'm very pleased with that. Uh, just to show you a, an example of basically how much I went in, well, well how much I put into the actual books itself. I completed two books successfully from a hire. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that I was going to get basically a, an A for my f you know, photography hire. So I was very pleased I did get an A. Um, I was very pleased with the result of that and it enabled me to get into the HND. Well basically it's a two year sort of HN um, course. So the HN year one is what I'm in currently at the moment and that's what I'm progressing through. Um, but as you can see basically a lot of that is the work that I have done and I've done my project on the natural world. Um, I've done it mostly on um, the animals of uh, the natural world of Scotland and that's what I based it upon. Uh, I went to various different places. I basically shot in, uh, I think it was Edinburgh Zoo I'd done a few, few shoots in. I had to put that in, I had to put all the sort of contact sheets in um, and I did go to the Sea Life Centre at Loch Lomond uh, which is nice. I was using, I think it was my macro lens is a 2.8 which so it lets more light into the lens, into the camera. Uh, I did of course, like I say, I went through a second book and I, I did all that. Um, and just to give you an, an idea, uh, just how much I had to write for that was basically my planning. I had to write out a, a plan for what I was going to do. I also had to write out everything in relation with the evaluation after it was all completed and things like that. So. There was a lot of work that I did put into my hire and I can show you basically just a brief through my 12 best photographs. I mean, like I say, a number of these photo you know, photographs that I'm very, very pleased with. I'm proud with my own sort of achievement and what I'll do is I'll, I will show you these um, photographs uh, at the end of this video. I started off the HN year one with a project to do for spheres. Uh, I can show you several of the images where we're basically to take your different focal lengths um, and the different techniques. Basically we're to shoot uh, telephoto, wide angle, shallow depth of field, your extended depth of field, your panning shot and all the rest of it. And we were to take our five best images or whatever, at least five of them. You go out in location with um, spheres, just anything like basketball, tennis balls, footballs, whatever. Uh, this the second project which we had, which was a, a project called Who Are You, where I had to take a portrait of myself. I had to then take a shot of the location, and something personal to me. Um, and so basically, what I done um, was I took a shot of myself dressed in my, um, just for a laugh because I actually got that for Halloween. I took a shot of myself wearing the sort of Assassin's Creed outfit. And that's the, that's the print there. You can see somewhat um, me, the location, and of course the sort of, you know, the wee figure that you get with <laughs> There was another project that we were doing called Seeing the Light. We were to take a, a shot, basically, of the natural daylight, so not with reflectors or anything like that. Another shot we were to take were using the reflectors, and that's essentially filling the light in. And then we were to take a flagging shot. So these various different shots and we were to get our four best images. And I'll show you from this image this was one I really loved. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with this image. I had the three ladies who are nice enough um, when I asked them uh, if I could take a, a portrait shot of them as part of my course. Um, and I saw the opportunity that there was a, a nice location. There was the, the bench 
and then the, the sort of tree in the backdrop and that's what I wanted to shoot. I was very pleased with the shot and what I'd done was um, because of the, the shade I, I used the reflector to fill in the um, the side of their faces from you know the, the light coming from the side. The finished one you can see the four. I, I did use that one as a reflector, I used that one as a reflector um, as well of course the flagging shot and natural daylight. And from the first block there was also a project that I had to do called Belly Stardust. But that was the sort of um, the print that I made that I developed in the darkroom, you can see it there, plus the fact the digital, which is the A3 print, you can see there. Um, so I'm, I'm very, I'm actually I'm very pleased because it's the very first time I've shot in black and white and I've done, you know, the darkroom stuff. That for me was a, a big experience. And then we had other projects. Uh, we did have a, a 24 frames per second. Um, basically we were to, and, and I already have all the sort of skills for all that type of stuff. Um, so I had an advantage and I basically shot in hairdressing. We were, type, we were to basically go to a place that we could shoot something artisan. So in other words, we had to contact a certain place that would accept that and then shoot basically them using and, and, and implementing their skills, essentially. Um, so something artisan using the different, you know, pans, the sort of wide angle and all the rest of that. And it's because the fact photography nowadays is going into a lot of your video. Another one we were to shoot was basically uh, our film poster and the film poster basically we were to go out, shoot our location first and then shooting our, you know, desig well, our character um, in the studio that you can see that I shot using uh, the longer exposure and you can see uh, Edinburgh Castle. And I used that as my backdrop I basically did that and you can see the sort of character that I shot uh, here. I shot that in the studio and in Photoshop I uh, implemented my own sort of light. You might not see it in this light, I'll probably, again I'll show you the, the fin finished image but the path, what I done was I uh, uh, edited in Photoshop so that it creates this sort of glow from fire and I added in the fire myself. I basically created fire in Photoshop and uh, that took a wee bit. And uh, one of the other things, I don't, you probably wouldn't see it from, he from here, excuse me, is an owl. Um, everything was to be our own sort of copyright, but I shot um, an owl and plus the fact I shot um, photographs, I'll, get to, I'll show you them. Another project, just as I remember, um, was the darkroom project. Now, for the darkroom project, I had four because of the fact that I was off at the time and I had to shoot, I had to develop my, my Bailey portrait. That was the one you seen. Um, but for this other project, the almost nothing, the first one that I developed was a shot I captured at the end of Sucky Hall Street. There's my, my second one. This one was actually shot Botanic Gardens and the Campsie Fells, I managed to capture that um, picture. Although my lecturer did say it was kind of dark, which I, I, I do agree, it's actually, it's not too bad. I'm still happy with that picture, you know, I, I really like it. So this is my darkroom workbook and this all, you know, is part of my project that I had to do and I had to submit basically. Um, he looked over it and he marked it, which I'm fairly happy with. We were basically to write about things like reciprocity failure um, and all the rest of it. Plus the fact we had to write about the, the sort of print developers, um, t at least two different print developers, which is, you, you kind of get confused because you're, you're, it's not the same as your, your film developers. Uh, the two bath solution, writing about the four different toning um, types, uh, 
other things we had to write about the fiber based papers the the, the different types uh, as well of course I wrote about all the different stuff like how I processed and developed my um, Bailey Stardust um, that was the one I had shown you and of course uh, we had to add in the sort of um, contact sheets now this is the this is the thing you can have to keep it together <laughs> but I can, I can actually show you this that's the contact sheet that I, pr I printed out because basically you have to get like a a test strip done um, and then from that you, you basically print out your your contact well let's just say your contact sheet and from that you pick out your best image and that's the one that you're going to print and then you have to print out a test strip for that and these were these were test strips here at the other side and you can see them there of how I got to the final image and I wrote about that type of stuff that was near to my completed final however you'll probably notice the borders like miles off <laughs> <laughs> the border of the actual things like miles off I do have several other projects um, and one of the most recent ones that I've got and I think this is us going into the third block is a project called Unseen and I think this is all to do with your type of photography such as the UV light you might see it from you know x-ray stuff that, or, or the use in science or the use, I, I don't know, ast astronomical type photography and things like that. I don't know if I would ever go into something like that, but I kind of, I love the technique. This one was kind of similar to your UV light, um, but you're shooting infrared. And I was out shooting in, in infrared, I went to Botanic Gardens again, only I went inside um, the big greenhouse and basically I shot a couple of images. Uh, this first image you can see here, I shot this which I was very proud of and you can see this, this sort of um, technique uh, creates, it looks like as if it's snow, you know what I mean, it's it's fantastic, it's such a, a beautiful thing. And of course another one that I had shot which again you can see and I might use this one towards my final three because we'll have to shoot, I think it's a uh, an infrared one, a sp uh, speed flash one, and I th I'm probably going to do my third one on uh, the time lapse. But for the for the one that I've chose, I think I'm going to use this one. I mean, I, I just I love this. There's something just about it that's just so. I don't know. I can't put words to it. Maybe you can. <laughs> that I just, I just love that that picture, and it's something very exotic, like. Um, so I'm definitely going to use that one, and for the speed flash, uh, I cropped this image, but you can see, uh, I used tax and basically thrown it into the the basin of water, uh, and, and I shot with the speed flash to capture this. I'm very pleased, obviously, with the result. Um, again, I would have lo I would have loved to have uh, done something that the other uh, people were doing, um, but you can't really copy and things like that. And we've got report work to do um, in relation to that. And I think the report work is going to relate to our self-initiated self project that gets started soon. In other words, that's a project we carry out ourselves. And in the end, it's the one that basically we're graded on, um, and on our own work, on whatever we cho freely choose to do. Because I'm going down the road of perhaps um, portraiture, I'm probably going to choose to do um, something in relation to do with portraiture. Um, a theme... I was going to use a technique such as in relation with Photoshop but something surreal now you see a lot of your surreal photography um, I would love to make it something unique where if I did choose to go and do something like wedding photography or um, something along the lines of um, your normal family photography I would love to do something surreal uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's a project that I'm going to be doing very soon. 
and that's going to take a lot of work because it'll be very similar to my other project books and not only that I do have uh, certain other projects uh, on the go one is going to be painting with light that's going to be a lot of fun but again it's a lot of work because I have to go and sort of recce the location check out the location um, we're told to look up uh, one of the um, photographers Tim Tim Simmons um, to look up the, his work um, and write about all that type of stuff uh, so painting with light I'm probably going to try and see if I can find castle ruins and basically shoot that at night uh, with just in the magic hour where you can see the, the sky uh, the sun setting and whatever I've got to try and shoot that and I'll probably use my speed lights so yes there's been a hell of a lot um, and I can show you one of my main influences uh, in, in, <laughs> I wouldn't say she's um, some famous photographer but her work is something that really inspires me and it's something that I just completely love uh, because it's, I, I share that type of you know I share that type of you know love for photography that type of thing and it's it's basically you can see this woman's work here I mean it's just unreal the, the, the work that she does um, you can see just the end result how she came up with this, you know, you wouldn't get away with obviously shooting and and using copyright stuff of Star Wars and things like that, um, unless you, you, I think you paid for something, um, but with that type of serial type of photography, I mean, I would love to go and, you know, actually get into that type of thing and, and do that for portraiture, it's just something that just, I, I just adore. So yeah, I mean, all of that, um, is what I've got on my plate at the moment. I'm just glad to have got all that sort of dark room stuff and everything else out of the way. And it means now I can concentrate on what is going to be, you know, a lot of work in itself, especially for this self initiated project where we've got our own workbooks to go to do. Um, again, similar to what I've done for the hire, but you know, putting everything down and, and getting that all put together. Um, especially working in process whilst I have to get 10 final images and that's going to be a lot of work um, in itself um, so anyway uh, even if you have any questions or that you know feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and you know it's something even if even with regards to photography even if you get any questions or that I'll be, I'll be happy enough to answer I'm not some you know, <laughs> expert on learning, but you know I've got I've got enough understanding to you know answer basic things. Anyway, people, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you can check out the pictures at the end here. Okay, talk to you later. Cheers.